Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Plants vs. Zombies. So, we only really have two things left to do in the game and uh, this time we're in for a bit of a doozy. So we're going back to puzzle mode. We gotta try I Zombie Endless. Now, to get one of the remaining two achievements in the game, we need to get to a streak of 10 in this game. They might think, oh hey, that doesn't sound so hard. I mean, we got to a streak of 20 in Vase Breaker Endless. Uh, how hard could it be? Well, I Zombie Endless is a good deal more difficult. Now, it's also a lot more fun because it's more of a puzzle game, and I like puzzles. So it really, you really do feel accomplished when you complete the levels. But it also feels like so often in iZombie Endless, you're just kind of up to the luck of the random number generator. And if you get just a bunch of bad, bad setups in a row, then that can really just screw you over. So yeah, iZombie Endless. I like the mode where we control the zombies and have to get to the brains at the end. Let's just start and see what's up. Eat all of the brains to pass the level. So for I, Zombie Endless, we have a very eclectic mix of zombies we can choose from. We have the Imp, not the regular zombie, the Imp, who dies in free hits to anything. Road Coden Zombie, who's only 25 extra sun and has a lot more HP, but it's slower. We got Pole Vaulting Zombie, who's faster and pretty tanky. Buckethead Zombie, who's quite tanky. Bungie Zombie. Digger Zombie. Ladder Zombie. Football Zombie, and Disco Zombie. Yeah, so here's the issue. You notice something. We don't have regular zombie. We also don't have screen door zombie. And screen door zombie would have been really, really nice to have. But I digress. So how iZombie Endless works is basically you'll get one iZombie setup after another. And the sun that you get in each round carries over to the next round. The earlier rounds are going to give you a bunch of sunflowers to go up against. And then the later rounds are going to give you almost no sun, uh, sunflowers. So you really have to conserve your sun throughout a lot of these. And how it works is that every eye zombie level that you get basically can be one of a different set of setups. Like, there are basically a bunch of pre-made setups that were all like, this one setup has a star fruit and a magnet shroom and a, and a free peter and basically it'll like count up all the plants and it'll just kind of randomly put them in different places. So if you get unlucky, you can end up with some really bad like overall setups that are nearly impossible to get through and you're just kind of screwed if that happens. So this one's going to be fun. So the main issues with these are, uh, so there are a couple issues. The Starfruit and the Free Peter are annoying because they can hit zombies in other lanes, the Starfruit in particular. Magnetrim is annoying because it attracts metallic objects off of zombies, so we can't use things like bucket heads or digger zombies or ladder zombies or football zombies without it removing stuff. The Umbrella Leaf can make it so that you can't use the bungee zombie properly. And the Snow Pea and the Colonel Pult really suck in this mode. Snow Pea because he just slows you down and makes everything else in his lane twice as good. Colonel Pult is the worst in this mode. Because if you're just unlucky, Kernelpool can just constantly throw butter on you over and over and over again, and there's nothing you can do about it, and uh, it happens way more often than you think. So, for this one, we've got... This is already kind of a tricky setup. Because we only have 150 sun to begin with, we got to get some of these sunflowers down. This top lane is nice because the, there's nothing but the Chomper who can only hit us one time, so two imps might be enough. The issue I'm having is that star fruit there. That Starfruit is going to shoot straight up at him, and I'm afraid that he's going to end up killing the Imp. But I think this is still the best way to start, so we'll, have, we'll send an Imp. So the Starfruit's going to hit him diagonally as well. So I think we're going to need a Road Cone Zombie. Because the Imp is not... The Imp is going to get shot twice, and then he's going to get shot again down there. So, Imp followed by a Road Cone Zombie. I think that is the best way of dealing with it. Generally, you want to take out the Starfruit and the Free Peter earlier, so you don't have to deal with them later. But these two lanes are going to be kind of sucky to deal with. Yeah, I'll go into some of the tips and tricks for iZombie Endless as we go. One tip you can have is the Magnetrim can actually potentially help you. In that, you can if you base if you have a zombie like a buckethead zombie and the magnet shroom removes the bucket from him. If you time it right, you can send a digger zombie down the lane and then right before he gets to the end and would turn around, the magnet shroom can steal his pick which causes him to pop straight up and then head towards the house. So you can potentially, if you time it right, you can potentially bypass an entire lane that way. 
All right, out of these next uh, ones, let's see. This lane is annoying because of the starfruit and him together. I'm not sure if a cone head is going to be enough all by himself. But we also can't use a bucket head because the magnetron would steal it. So you see my issues that I'm having now. I mm. I want to take out that stupid. I'm trying to figure out, because the Starfruit and the Free Peter are kind of guarding each other, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to take out the Free Peter first or the Starfruit first. This lane is nasty, man. This is this is a well guarded lane. You've got. So these two guys will shoot at the beginning, and then you've got the Spike Weed, and you've got the Free Peter as well. But you also. Okay, I want to take out the Magnet. The Magnet Shroom is going to be a huge pain in the butt, so I want to take him out. So I'm going to send a Road Cone Zombie. Okay, good. Very good. Alright, is he going to kill the Fume Shroom? No, he's not. He's gonna get taken out by the Starfruit and the Fume Shroom combined. Okay. So this is annoying. The Potato Mine behind him is annoying because I'm going to need to send two more zombies regardless anyways. And because the Fume Shroom is still alive, I can't even use a Pole Vaulting Zombie to vault over that. Hmm. I think I'm gonna send another Conehead. I think I'm gonna send maybe two cone heads. But I'm not gonna send the second cone head right away. Because again, Fume Shroom will hit both the cone heads at the same time. Brains. And I need to get. Normally I would send an imp to finish this lane, but the Starfruit's still there, and I really wanna take out the Magnet Shroom to take out the Starfruit, so. Another cone zombie coming along. And then once the Magnet Shroom is dead, I'm going to send a Bucket Head down this lane, and he should easily be- he should be able to take out everything. And then we can focus on this lane with all the Sunflowers. I think a Cone Head by himself will be able to take out the Sunflowers. Alright, Bucket Head, here we come. The lane down here, once we take out the uh, Starfruit, will be very easy. I better hope a single Conehead can go through this lane. Otherwise, we in trouble. Actually, a Conehead might have been able to... No. It's so hard to tell whether certain zombies would be able to do certain things. Cool. All right. Now this lane at the bottom will be easy. We just send basically three imps. The imp will take a long time to get through that walnut, but we can save sun that way. I do not think I was very sun efficient with my sun this time. Generally speaking, after the first eye zombie level, you want to have at least a thousand sun. That's kind of the barometer. Come on, kill him. So close, come on, don't die, please. Thank you. My gosh, he's on death's door right now. Squash kills him. Actually, I think we are gonna have a thousand sun at the end. I felt like I did really bad on that stage. Okay, we have a thousand fifty. Okay, that's actually a good mark. Again, that 1,000 benchmark at the end of the first level is kind of a good way of knowing where you're going to go. And as you can see, the levels in iZombie are going to take a lot longer than the levels in Base Breaker. So this one is a slightly different one. So no, there is a Starfruit, but there are more Chompers. Actually, there were two Chompers last time. Never mind, this is the same setup, just but but different. Okay, this time the, the Free Peter and the Starfruit are farther away, which is good. Okay, I think what I'm 
Hmm. I'm trying to think, if I send out an imp at the top, he can eat for the walnut, he can eat for that. He can eat for that. I'm afraid the starfruit's gonna kill him before the chomper eats him. I'm gonna try it, though. I wanna get rid- again, getting rid of the starfruit is kind of your top priority, because he can hit he can hit zombies in any lane, pretty much. So the sooner you take him out, the better. The Free Peter is also annoying, and the Magnet Shroom is also very annoying. The Umbrella Leaf can be annoying, but generally I don't like using the Bungie Zombie, because it's 125 sun just to get rid of one plant. Unless it's a ridiculously problematic plant, it's not worth it. Alright, now I'm going to send a Cone Head. I do not trust a single Imp to be able to... I'm pretty sure if I sent an Imp, the Starfruit would have killed him just before he ate the Starfruit, so... It's better this way. Oh, this lane is great! Once the starfruit is dead, a few imps is all we'll need. The first level is a little trickier because you have you start with such little sun. I don't like that. I don't like it when the Colonel pulled this farther back in the lane, because that makes him even more prone to, uh, health in you with the butter. This lane's also kind of nasty. So the Snow Peas, when they're farther back, generally mean that Ladder Zombies are nice, because remember, Ladder Zombies are immune to the Snow Peas. The problem is they're just double Spike Weed, and one of those Spike Weeds is at the end. So I'm not sure if Ladder... Ladder Zombies fast, though. Ladder Zombie's fast, but at the same time, Buckethead Zombie is also going to be able to deal with his lane. Then I think Buckethead Zombie will also do at the bottom as well. I may be cutting it a bit close with Buckethead Zombie at the bottom. But he can, he can eat these two plants pretty quickly. But I'm, I maybe I should have gone with football zombie. Okay, no, he should be okay. This lane will be a little tricky. Squash in the middle and the current it's especially the kernel bolt in the back that's gonna be super annoying. Because again, if the kernel bolt just decides to chuck a whole bunch of butter. That can really screw you up. We also can't use Digger Zombie plus Imp because of the split P. Hmm. Okay, Colonel Pulse Chuck and Butter. He just needs to last long enough for the squash to do him in. Okay, I tried to spread them out so that way the squash wouldn't hit them both at the same time. Take out the split pea. Okay, cool. Unless we get stupidly unlucky with the Colonel Pult, that'll be enough. Remember, Colonel Pult has roughly a 1 in 3 probability of throwing butter. 1 to 3, 1 in 3 to 1 in 4. Let me tell you what, when you've got a lane with a Snow Pea and a Colonel Pult both at the back, oh my gosh, there's basically nothing worse. You better hope you can Digger Zombie that lane. Alright, streak of two. <laughs> okay, so this is a different setup. No Chompers this time. More Split Peas, more Snow Peas. Uh, more Colonel Pults. Thankfully, no Starfruit. Alright, so Mag- Oof. You see how na- Okay, yeah. See right there. That lane right there. Nasty. We got a Magnet Shroom in the front, two Split Peas, a Snow Pea, and a Colonel Pult. Like, good lord. Alright, well, we kinda gotta take on this one first. Because of our good friend Magnet Shroom. I 
I think, so Conehead Zombie I'll have to send first, and I think Conehead Zombie plus Bucket Zombie is going to be our best bet there. Thank you for not throwing butter immediately. I appreciate that. Or actually... Oh my gosh. No, that's actually not gonna work. He just got... He got shredded. We're gonna go football zombie. That lane is so well protected. Again, Snow Pea plus Colonel Pult, an absolute nightmare to deal with. And no way of using Digger Zombie to get around it. I'm not even sure football zombie's gonna be enough. It depends on how unlucky we get with the butter chucks. So far, so good. We're, we've gotten lucky that he hasn't thrown butter yet. If he had thrown butter a bunch at the beginning, when everything was shooting at him, that would have been bad. Okay, good job, football zombie. I'm proud of you. I think once we take out the free Peter this lane, we can bypass just with a single pole all things zombie. Alright, I think we need to take out this guy. Oh, that lane's gonna suck as well. Double Colonel Pult is really bad. That is really bad. Double Colonel Pult is awful. Because that means Butter's gonna be thrown a ton. I don't think Football Zombie will necessarily... So here's something interesting. Dan Disco Zombie is super expensive, but he might come in handy for ones like this because there's no sunflowers in that lane. So if we put, well, no, there's a free Peter. Never mind. If there wasn't the free Peter there, then maybe that would work. I want to get rid of this lane next to get rid of that free Peter. It'll make the other two lanes much easier to deal with. But uh, here's the. I'm thinking maybe Ladder Zombie. But here's the thing. Both of the Colonel Pults will bypass his ladder defense, so if they chuck him with butter enough, like, he's gone. I know he'll have good protection against these, and he's fast, but again, it's, it's all up to the luck of the draw. And that split P makes it so I can't Digger Zombie out of it. Otherwise, I totally would do Digger Zombie Imp. Ugh. I'll try Ladder Zombie, and I might go double Ladder Zombie. Okay, so far so good. I just, I want his speed. Oh no. Ugh. That's bad. Yeah, I gotta send a second one. Again, like, if you just, if you get pelted by the butter over and over again, you are screwed. That's why Colonel Pult is... Are you kidding me? Look, look at how much butter he's throwing. Come on, don't die. Oh, thank goodness. That was 300 sun for one lane because of how heavily defended it was. Ladder Zombie's pretty good in iZombie. He has a lot more protection than you think and his speed makes him very, very nice. Speaking of Ladder Zombie, I'm going to send him up top as well. Because again, Ladder Zombie's completely protected from the slowing effects of Snow Pea. Vault over you, you should be able to deal with a single Puck Shroom. And then for this lane, probably a Bucket Head. Well, I actually might even go Ladder Zombie. I think I'm going to go Ladder Zombie down there as well. Because the repeater is pretty far back. I want that extra speed. Yes, there's double spike weed, but a ladder zombie's fast enough he'll bypass two spike weed. Even if he has to stand on it twice. Okay, our sun count could be a bit better for where we are at, but... Cool, streak of free. It's taken long enough, but we're at a streak of free now. Okay, it looks like this is the same as the last setup, just, again, different. Oh, that sucks. Magnet Shroom, Snow Pea, and Colonel Pult in one lane. Hmm. Well, if we, we can send stuff down. Oh, this sucks. 
Oh, this really, this is absolute garbage. I think this is time for Bungie Zombie. I think we gotta use Bungie Zombie to get rid of that stupid magnet room. And again, you'll notice there are not as many sunflowers now as there used to be. Again, I probably... No, I don't think I could've used uh, Bucket Zombie. It all depends on how much butter gets thrown. Alright, let's take out this guy down here. When in doubt, uh, do I want Ladder Zombie or Football? I think Ladder Zombie will be fine. Unless he gets buttered. Oh, come on! There is not a lot of luck in Plants vs. Zombies, but the Colonel Pult is one of the rare instances. Oh, that's not good at all. I gotta send a bucket head. That, that first thing of butter screwed me over. Because he hit me immediately with butter, all five of the things in the lane were hitting me for a long period of time. Cool. Three Peter is down. I don't think a one lat. Again, not sure if one ladder zombie can take out all these guys. I might sprint. I think I'm gonna sprint for a football zombie. I'm gonna go bucket head in this lane. Ladder zombie for this lane. I don't trust a bucket head to get through a repeater in the back with two spike weeds that he has to stand on for prolonged periods of time. <gasps> that spike weed almost did it in. Oh my gosh. Really? Football zombie didn't make it. Vaulting zombie should. Again, Vaulting Zombie can jump over basically two squares in a row when he reaches the plant. Come on, don't die to the freaking Puff Shroom. Come on. Come on! No! Are you kidding me? Yeah, I lost some on that round. You'll see, I started with over 2,000 and now I have 1,900. This mode is brutal. And the, the worst part is if you lose right before you get to a streak of 10, you have to redo so much work because of how long these take. I spent over 300 sun on that one lane. And I didn't even kill all the plants here. Oh, why can't... Okay, the, I just want to point out, there are more setups that we can get. We've just only gotten two setups for like five times in a row. I've, I was waiting for one, there's one setup with a bunch of scaredy shrooms, which is great because the disco zombie just kicks butt in that one. He, like, you can use one disco zombie for free lanes. It's great. Okay, Starfruit and Free Peter and Magnetrum. You guys gotta go. I think I might go. Double cone head for this lane. I'm gonna go double cone head for this lane. They'll be able to deal with the magnet shroom. The chomper can only eat one of them, and we'll be good. We can bypass the star fruit, then we can focus on the star fruit. 
just like that. Alright. I'm counting on you, ladder zombie. Make me proud. He's gonna lose his ladder. Yeah. I'm gonna need to send a second one. Hey! No. Yeah, that was kind of expensive. Okay. It looks like we can finally break out the digger zombie. I think he's ideal for this lane. This lane up here, I could feed an imp to the chopper and then maybe use a. I'm not sure if a cone head would be able to do that. I think he could. Fuck sure him at short range. Once he's finished with all that, we can send an imp to collect the brain. This lane is interesting, because we got that potato line there and the, the squash in the back, so we're going to have to use at least three zombies to get through this, so... Oof, yeah, as you can see, our sun supply is just gradually decreasing. I think I'm gonna go pole vaulting zombie here. This might well be a sequence of levels that I will have to restart. Because again, this took me a while to get in the iPhone version. A lot of different attempts to try and get this. So we're halfway, we're only halfway there and we don't have that much sun left. Thankfully we still have a few sunflowers per round, but not as much as I'd like. Why do they love putting starfruit and this guy in the same area? I don't like it. Hmm. Starford ain't going to be able to do anything to Digger Zombie. It's too good to pass up. And we can get rid of the Free Peter this way. Then I think we'll be able to use one Vaulting Zombie to get over this. Brains. Again, I'll wait until... Starford is gone. Beautiful. Nicely done. Ah, oh, thank you. Alright, vaulting zombies should be able to get through this. And vaulting zombie can get through this. This lane is going to be interesting. I might go for the double cone zombie again. Oh yes, we have to send an imp down that way.
All right, come on, Code Zombie. You're a tough. You're a tough cookie. All right, you got this. Come on, he's one fume shroom. Oh yeah, you got this. Then we'll have to send another imp. But we actually gained quite a bit of sun that time. We gained like 400 sun. That's great. That setup was a lot easier to deal with. As you can see, we've used every zombie type except for Disco Zombie. Again, Disco Zombie is just not worth it most of the time. It's so much sun. Unless you can use him to beat like three lanes, it's probably not worth it. Or at least two lanes. And he's also unpredictable. Okay! A lot of split peas, a lot of snow peas. Ladder Zombie will be useful here. Okay, well, at the very least, <laughs> these two lanes are unguarded, so, by a split these. This lane's gonna suck. Actually, most of the rest of these lanes are going to suck. I mean, like, I don't think one ladder zombie is going to cut it for most of it. I also don't think one football zombie is going to cut it. So I think what I'm... Mm. Okay, I've got a plan in, in my head. I might go ladder zombie and conehead zombie kind of at the same time. Ladder zombie is going to outpace him. Here, we'll send the imps to grab those two brains. We are now we are now officially at the point in Eye Zombie where there's no way we're going to gain sun every single time. There's just not enough sunflowers per round in order to do that. Okay. This row, at the very least, one guy is not gonna cut it. Wow! Okay! When I said one wasn't gonna cut it, I... He, we really meant it. Holy smokes! What the heck? They just shredded him like it was nothing! Okay. So that's how we're gonna play it. He's gonna die, but pull vaulting zombie will make it over. Thanks for absorbing the damage. Okay, well, that was terrifying. Again, I th there's no way one ladder zombie will make it through, so... I'm trying to figure out if I should try that again, Ladder Zombie plus, cup, uh, plus Conehead Zombie, and maybe it'll work in these lanes because they're not as heavily guarded. Or if I should just do Double Ladder Zombie both of these lanes. Because of this free stuff. Mm. That one has a... Re so let's see. This one is one, two, three, four projectiles constantly and one for most of it. So basically five projectiles. This one has one, two, three, four... Okay, so this one's not as heavily guarded. So this one up top, we're definitely doing double ladder zombie. This one down here, I think we'll do the ladder zombie plus cone zombie. Thank you for being my human shield. That, that was so good. That was so good. Ladder Zombie used his own body to protect the Cone Zombie. That was so good. Now Cone Zombie will make it to the end. I may have been able to pull that off at the top as well with Ladder Zombie and Cone Zombie. And that would have saved me 75 sun, which actually is a lot. Come on, give me the Scaredy Shroom setup. up. 
All right, we gotta gotta beat three more. We have a little over a thousand sun. I don't see it happening. Okay. <laughs> this is the magnet shroom setup. We're gonna be using conehead zombies, I guess. But because of all the fume shrooms, we don't want to send more than one conehead at a time. I'll just send a cone head down every lane. To see how far they get. <laughs> now I think we're gonna send a pole vaulting zombie for most of the rest of the lanes. Because again, for some reason, the, the vaulting pole does not count as a metallic object. I'm not sure if he'll work on the bottom lane. I we'll just have to see. I hope so. Vaulting zombie is tougher than you might think. But it, it's going to be a stretch. Oh my gosh, just barely. Wow, that- wait, did we actually gain sun that time? That's crazy. I can't believe we actually managed to gain sun that time. Okay, we have a little over a thousand. We got two more rounds. Okay. No star fruit. this is good. But we do have a magnet shroom, we do have a free Peter. Okay. <sighs> magnet shroom's gotta go first. I think we're going to be sending Double Conehead. Double Conehead. Oh man, Double Conehead at the same time, they eat twice as fast, so... You also can't... You can't butter both of them at the same time. Yeah. I hate the Free Peter lane. Yeah, like, it seems like so often, like, if you get a lane like this, where it's like, well... well there's a Free Peter there, so I gotta deal with it quickly. But also there is double split pea and a snow pea back far. Mm. Okay. Well down here we can use Digger Zombie. If there's a split pea all the way in the back, Digger Zombie can kill it before it can kill him. So that's simple enough. This lane's going to stink, though. La one ladder zombie ain't going to cut it. But I not I don't think football zombie will cut it either. So I think we're going to do ladder zombie plus conehead zombie. The classic duo. That's not quite what I wanted. But with two of them together, they I think they can pull it. They should be able to pull it off. Digger Zombie and Imp are the ultimate combo. They really are. They're fantastic. You're down. We can go bucket head for this lane. And for this lane, I think we can get, do one cone head. We also may have been able to do Volting Zombie, but cone head is safer. And they're the same price. Okay, we actually might do it. Because we just need one more round after this. It really is a shame we aren't... I hope we get the Scaredy Shroom round next. Because again, with Disco Zombie, you can send him down one lane and like the combination of all the dancers together will just make a bunch of the scary shrooms just cower and they won't really be able to do anything. It's great. And we have over a thousand sun. Okay, we have over a thousand sun for the last round. We can do this. It ain't easy beating the zombies. 
Good job, current streak of nine. Nope, one more. No starfruit though, okay, cool. Yuck. Oh, this is really bad. So this lane's awful, because you've got Magnet Shroom here. And three Snow Peas. So we basically need a metallic object to distract him, but we can't even use Bungie Zombie to take him away because the the umbrella leaf is right there. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. I think what we got to do is make a sacrifice, which is. Gonna put a bucket head down and then immediately put a ladder zombie after it. And we have to do that because otherwise now he'll be distracted attracting the bucket so he won't attract the ladder. Okay, I th they should be good. They should be good. With the two of them together. <laughs> that guy was literally one hit away from death. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. Well, now that that's done... Alright, let's take out the free Peter lane. And let's see, for the free Peter lane... Because of the Colonel Pult, I'm gonna go Digger Zombie. Again, find out which plants take priority, like Magnet Shroom, Free Peter, and Starfruit. Are, you want to take them out first. Those are your highest priority. The, the, the plants that affect what you do in other lanes besides the one that they're in, those take highest priority. Alright, so you're doing that once... Cool. You can Digger Zombie this lane as well. I might Digger Zombie the top lane as well, just because of that stupid... Yeah, with, with Repeater and Colonel Pult, I'm Digger Zombie in the top lane as well. This lane down here... I think a Buckethead just won't make it. So I think I'm gonna go Ladder Zombie, which Ladder Zombie is cheaper than Digger Zombie, plus Imp. Imp should walk over the Spike Weed before he starts attacking the Brain. If not, then I just wasted a 50 cent on the Imp. Nope, he clears the Spike Weed before he starts eating the Brain. Wonderful. I'm gonna see how high up I can go in Eye Zombie, because unlike Vase Breaker, I'm definitely going to hit the skill ceiling. <laughs> As you can see, we only have a few hundred sun left. And here we go, we get to the streak of ten! Which means we get the better off dead achievement. Fan just fantastic. Alright. Starfruit, Magnet Shroom, and Free Peter. Okay. Interesting. Let's take out Starfruit first. Mm -hmm. We'll distract him. And we can follow that up with... I think we're gonna need two Conehead Zombies. Yeah, we're gonna need two Conehead Zombies just because of that stupid spike weed. Because Chomper's gonna eat this guy before he finishes eating the starfruit. Once starfruit is down, we can send a road cone zombie up here. Yum, 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 yum. I am very surprised I got the better off dead achievement on my first try. Like, very surprised. It is possibly the most legitimately difficult achievement in the game. Okay, top lane. Uh, once that's done, Digger Zombie.
No question on that. Down here, I think, uh, also Digger Zombie. Because Digger Zombie, I believe, can destroy Chompers from behind. The question is, will he be able to clear the the Split Pea and the Spike Weed? That, I'm not sure. Actually, I may have made a, I may have done a bad. Actually, don't I don't think he's gonna make a pet for the spike weed. No! Oh, look at that imp go! Okay, we wasted too much on that, but. All right, I'm gonna trust Bucket Zombie to do the job here. Great. Butter already. That is not what I wanted to see. But Buckethead should be able to do it all by himself. Well, I have a feeling a streak of 11 is going to be our cap, because we have only 200 sun left for the final level. Or for the next level. We can't even make the Disco Zombie if we wanted to. Digger Zombie and Ladder Zombie met, though, man, they they were kind of our savior. Digger Zombie, Ladder Zombie, and Road Cone Zombie. Conehead Zombie might be the best bang for your buck. For just 25 extra sun, you had get... Oh, wait. A zombie way better than the imp. Oh! Okay. I really freaking wish that I could use Disco Zombie right now. Okay. Unusual move. This is going to be our last one anyways, so what I'm going to do... I'm gonna use <laughs> Bungie Zombie to take that sunflower. Yes, okay. Because of all of the instant death here, I'm gonna put Disco Zombie all the way in the back. Because of all of these one hit kill plants, Disco Zombie's really going to do well here. We really do want Disco Zombie to eat that sunflower, though. But as you can see, like, with this lane, Disco Zombie himself is not really in any danger. His backup dancer in front of him is going to be absorbing all the damage for him. Oh, come on! Why didn't you summon one in front of you? There was no Disco dan backup dancer in front of you. There we go. Now we gotta hope that Backup Dancer up here will clear this lane. Because there's a chance Backup Dancer up here will blow up and then he won't summon a new one in time to eat the brain up, up there. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, thank you. One Disco Zombie, free lanes. We got through all the lanes with just one Disco Zombie. Unfortunately, this is where our run comes to an end because... Uh... Also, Digger Zombie will detonate a potato mine if he digs under it. So, like, you might think, oh, just use di send a digger zombie up here, and bada-beam, it's perfect, right? Uh, no. Because that's what happens. We made it to a streak of 11. I really don't want to try again. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't see the scaredy shroom, uh, set up. But there we go! We got to a streak of 10 in iZombie Endless on our first try. I can't believe it. Like, that is a really difficult mode. Like, you don't even know. It's such a difficult mode. Uh, good luck trying it yourself. There are definitely online guides that can help you out a bit better than I can. I'm still relatively inexperienced at that. But like I said before, Magnet Shroom, Starfruit, Free Peter, those are kind of your top priorities to get rid of. I re highly recommend using Digger Zombies plus uh, <laughs> Imp wherever prudent if you don't think like a bucket egg can, or a ladder zombie can do it on their own. Ladder zombies are great because of their speed and their immunity to the snow peas. And then yeah, disco zombies, if you're on a level where the disco zombie will be protected in the lane he's in, 
Oh, he, he can be really, really good. Like, he was really good in that last hole, but I just started with such a little amount of sun that it wasn't gonna work. And then Bungie Zombie is like, only use him when you really, really need to. I generally only use Bungie Zombie if there's a Magnet Shroom in a ridiculously problematic place. So that's just, that's just generally my advice, and feel free to look at more on your own if you want to try this yourself. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Next time is the last video for Plants vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition. It's going to be Survival Endless, and I'm going to just see how far, how long I can survive and how much money I can make. And ideally, I want to see if I can make enough money in between this episode and next episode to buy everything else in the shop. Even if I have to sell all my plants in, Zen, in the Zen Garden, I want to buy the last three things in the shop, which are... The, the Mushroom Garden, the Aquarium Garden, and then ideally the 10th seed slot in time for Survival Endless would be great. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.